pray and said I have my tata. Amen. So, okay, before I proceed to prayer, uh, let me have, let me read John 14, verse, uh, chapter 14, verse 2 to 3. Oh, 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 
people that you're here today. It's not about the number of people, but it's all about the presence of God, His glory in our hearts. And God, we thank you for this freedom that we can have in you. Freedom to worship you. Freedom to worship you in spirit and in truth. And thank you for reminding us today who we are in Christ Jesus. If you are not forsaken, if you are not abandoned, but you have chosen us. You have chosen us even before you laid the foundations of the earth. And God, we thank you even for this moment that you would remind each part today that we will remember who we are, our position in Christ Jesus, that we have a place in heaven and that's where we belong. We belong in your kingdom. So right here, right now, God, we shut every voice, the lies of this world. But we want to listen to the voice of truth. We are who you say we are. And we believe on that.
those who are lost from this city. So Lord, today, we thank you as we reflect on who you are. That you be vessels, maging mga daluyan, Panginoon, ang iyong katagumpayan. Kami maging daluyan, ang iyong pagpapala. Kami maging daluyan, ang iyong walang hanggang pag-ibig. Ito ay magbabago, patuloy na babaguhin na. Dahil ito ni Panginoon, ay ang desisyon ay pagkatiwala sa iyo ng aming mga buwan. Kami na niniwala na ikaw ang simula ko. Nabigil ni ka na pa niya the source of life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You bless me, Father. We give you praise. So, to stand is 
a father uh, is a very uh, important role. Kasi ho, sa mga kapatid na to, ay mga masasabi ko, maladuwag uh, eh. <laughs> maladuwag. Mayroon uh, pa naduduwag yata yung mga uh, madalagihan na tumayo sa tinatawag na patutuhanan. Kasi mas madali yung mas uh, mamuhay ng Juan. Uh, makamundong pamamaraan, no? Worldly ways. Mas madali yun. Huwag nga natin yan tayo galing lahat ng mga ano. Para ba yung tumayo ka at mamuhay sa tinatawag na katotohanan, sa mamuhay ka sa pamamaraan ng Diyos, hindi na baga, no? Hindi na makahirap. Yung sabi nila, you swim against the tide. Yung managoy ka laban sa sa alog, sa agos, no? Ganyan yung ang Christianity. But remember, nagayon natin, Our God, light is always greater than darkness. Amen. Ha? Kaya wag po tayo patayak sa aming Espiritu. Wag kang patayak. Kaya wag kang patayak sa aming Espiritu. Wag kang patayak na ha? Yan. So patuloy dapat na tayo maging halimbawa sa ating lakad na paglakad mo natin ay may pag-ibig. Kasi sa pag-ibig, hindi mo pinag-iisipan ang kapawa na mali ang pag-ibig. Kaya na? And that's, uh, that fulfills the law. Wag ka magkaka, wag ka magkaka, wag ka na magsinumaling, or what, no? See the law in the, in the law of love. Sa patas mo yun, it's the very opposite, no? Kasi kapag sa patas ka na mag-ibig, hindi mo na inigisip na patapagay. So this afternoon, ayun, ilan na naging parama na naririto muli, no? Ay, uh, congratulations sa mga fathers. At ako yung may kumuhara na Tayo yung mga natin ngayon, bawang tayong mag-ibaba, bawang tayong mag-ibaba, 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 congratulations sa mga kapa, no? At sa mga, uh, alam niyo po, ako po, uh, baka pa ka, ako, I was nine years old ako yung nabibigya sa kapatid, no? Kaya may father died, uh, when I was nine, I was so very sick, no? Tapos si abuse yung tignan ko na wala. And, uh, ayun, kaya mahirap pagbuhay na wala ang isang pagbilang na gumagabay. No? Kaya, wala ko akong father din ko halos lumaki. Kaya, salamat sa Diyos, no, na uh, natanggap ko ang Panginoong Diyos ko na pwede ka roon na tinatawag na role model. At sa ngayon, ito, dahil ito ako sa kamalit, at uh, tayo, no, ang aking uh, ay uh, napamantayan sa pagiging mamahal sa pag-aaruga uh, din sa inyo as uh, I look up to you ano ba sa pagpunta o pagpunta ba yung kakawag natin na uh, kaluluwa natin mga din pag-iisip no? so, yes, as a pastor, I look out yung inyong kakawag na uh, soulless welfare yung pananaw ito sa pinakawag na spiritual na bagay so uh, my example is our father and ah, so I will see you at the end of my family and to my children, right? Huh? Ayun. So, tatapusin ko lang ito dahil I would like to first of all have speakers this afternoon, ha? And kanina umaga, kasama din natin sila. Kaya nakakatuwa na alam ko na yung hapon ako na. Parang sila sa mahal nila ako. Mga mayroon na akong alam ko na mayroon akong mga loyalties na dito. Anyway, before we Uh, you know, we sit for the next space that we have is that we uh, take an uh, offering. So, we can add the money to us. I'm doing this together. Okay, one, two, three, read. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the ways of love, just as Christ loves us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to do it. Excited to come. Anyway, see, sabi ka, you can give without loving. Right? Tara? Pwede ka magbigay. Ulit eh, bigyan mo na. Pero walang pagmamahal. Right? Pero kapag nagmahal ka, ay hindi mo talagang maalis na ipagbigay. Right? Si God is love. That's why He gave His Son. He gave His best. So, sa hapon na ito, as we honor God with our tithes and offering, as we celebrate the fatherhood of God. Si Isaac,
natin po yan sa tinatawag na ating pang-honors na ngayon, di ba? Karamihan, oo oh, naman, kung alam po galing tayo pandemic, na po hindi naman kailangang magastos, di ba no? Ayun. Uh, but as you give your best, if you come to your father, do you not go malapit or alam po, pwede po naman yung text kung malayo pero mas maganda kong tawagan mo, right? No? Di ba? So, tawagan mo mo ang iyong kapa kung later on, you learn more about this. Don't be challenged. Ngayon, habang nabubuhay pa yung ating mga ama, no? Nabigyan na natin sila ng talaga. Dahil hindi, hindi habang panahon yan yan yung sila, no? Sabi mo sa iyo, I was a man you know, when my father died and he cried so much dahil na Paano na ako? Alam mo yun? Paano na ako? I was nine year old at yung nanay ko may sakit din. Ano mong hirap ng buhay? Pero salamat na lang na nagkakuhan ko yung katawag na pagiging aman ng ating Diyos. So ayan, this afternoon, so that's what we're celebrating. As Christians, as children of God, sa ating script for John chapter 1 verse 12. Sa ating sabi niya ng Panginoon, to those who receive it, To them, He gave the right to become children of God, even those who believe in His name. And the kalooban na yan ay hindi lang kalooban ng tao, kundi ito yung kalooban ng Diyos. So you are not an accident kung bakit ka nagdito sa mundo ni Bago. And again, I think it's in verse 13 of this. Because this is very powerful verse. You will never let the devil anymore, lalo sa mga kamataan na deceive you kasi alam niyo po sa mga mga panahon, ganyan isip ko, aksidente lang talaga ako, alam mo yan. I should not be born in this, in this manner. It's not, may hindi akma ba ang buhay, no? And I know the suffering is being, uh, being poor, being uh, uh, looked down, growing up, kasi mahirap ang buhay, no? Pero kung naintindihan uh, ko itong uh, verse na ito, sabi ka, who were born not of blood, no? The will of the flesh or the will of God, but of God. Tingnan mo yung katabi ko sa akin. Sabi ko sa akin, kalooban ka ng Diyos. Amen. Kalooban ka ng Diyos. That the truth has to sink into your heart. That's your value, that's your respect. And regardless of you have no money or you have money, you know what I mean? That, if you understood that, value system and how you see his life will change forever. Sa hapon na to, no? As we honor God with our tithes, with our offerings, as Peter says, honor the Lord with your substance. And, uh, and, uh, isa po ito ng pagpaparaan ng ating pag-worship o pag-isamba. Diba, no? Hindi ang pag-isamba o hindi lang sa panawin, no? sa ating pagbibigay, sa ating pagbibigay. Actually, ang pagsambaho sa Diyos ay higit sa musika. Ha? Ang pagsamba sa Diyos ay pagsunod sa kanya. Ano ko ba? Amen. Ha? And He wants us to be prosperous. Pero isa sa pamamaraan, pag tayo ay mag-prosperous in finances, and of course, in all aspects of our lives is we have to surrender and give. The more you give, the more you Diba? Kaya sabi ng Scripture, as you offer the most of the times and offerings, heaven is open. So, this afternoon, let's talk to you in the Lord. Father, we thank you for such goodness. We look forward to meeting the other you with our guys and with our offerings. We give because we love you. We love because you gave unto us your son, your best, as a fragrant offering to our son. Even this afternoon, Lord, as we give uh, this substance, this um, amount of uh, God that we put in this envelope, it represents our heart. Ang uh, you know, aming pinagpaguran, ang aming uh, uh, pinag-ipunan, Panginoon. But alam namin, Panginoon, na sabi mo nga, uh, sa iyo din naman lahat ang mula. Ikaw na bigay ng lakas sa amin, na magalisan, at na mga kalumpay, Panginoon upang patuloy na kami manalumpay sa buhay. And as we do this, honoring you, our God, our Father, one thing you know, more will come in the Bible Bible. So I declare, Lord, a uh, multiplication 
Gusto gusto ko itong i-share kasi kasama kayo doon, pinag-pray nyo ko dito sa harap. So, yung mga nandito doon, ito na yung answer sa prayer nyo. So, ito yung pento ko ulit, okay? So, uh, last day doon ng 2020, suddenly, uh, ninong pa ako sa kasal. Uh, natanggal ako bilang uh, hepe ng uh, pulis dito sa Malay, okay? Yung utos ang galing mismo sa opisina ni HCP and Pisinas. So, hindi yun tungkol sa trabaho. Something so parang napakawalang kwenta pag sa pag-iisip ng tao. Uh, noon, ang pakiramdam ko, napaka-unfair, napaka-unjust, di ba? So, noon, after being in action, kasi ba, eh, uh, happy ako ng Iloilo City, Station 1, uh, tapos 2 years yon tapos 1 year dito. So, palaging naka-on yung phone mo, uh, palaging nakatalas dos na madaling araw, nag-bearing yan. Parang, kan ba? Uh, action talaga. So, then suddenly, natanggal ka. Nalagay ako sa posisyon na walang action, tapos uh, walang chance na makapromote ako in five years. So, para talagang uh, pinahiya ka talaga, parang gusto ko sabihin sa'yo, mag-early retirement ka na kasi 19 years na noon, so pa-20 years na ako. So, Uh, pag 20 years, pwede ka nang mag-early retirement, eh, pension ka na kahit paano. Pero, yun, uh, tinanong ko, uh, bilang tinanong si Lord, Lord, uh, uh, parang nagtanong tuloy ako, Lord, will mo ba talaga, na, parang na-question mo pa na will mo ba talaga na mag-pulis sa Lord? So, uh, in addition, to make matters worse, 8 uh, days pagkatapos ko matanggal, namatay ang tatay ko. So, for the first time in many, many years, uh, doon ko naramdaman yung matinding pagkalungkot at hindi uh, ano, yung disappointment. Na uh, parang, kwan ka ba, uh, pick ko yun ng kwan eh, career and faith, di ba? Parang din suddenly may ganun. So, grabe talaga si Lord. Uh, may purpose, so ito ba yung kwento. So, nung nalibig ng tatay ko, bigla akong naalala. Uh, the year prior, 2019, uh, may isa tayong Christian brother. Army naman siya, si Lieutenant Colonel John Maldomar, kasama ko nang sa victory. Inominate niya ako sa 10 outstanding uh, Filipinos. Ito ay uh, annual search, apat na teacher, tatlong sundalo, and tatlong police. Uh, prestigious to kasi ang, uh, ang price is 1 million each. Diba? So gusto kasi nila, sila yung siga. Diba? So, sila yung pinakamalaking magbigay ng price. So, tinawagin ko yung Metro Bank. Uh, Sir, uh, kailan yung deadline? Sir, tapos na. <laughs> Pero, in-explain ko, namatay kasi yung father ko. Ah, sige sir, uh, uh, bigyan ka namin ng four days. Sige, sabi ko. Uh, so, kumbaga, uh, yung pagkamatay pala ng father ko may purpose. Kasi kung hindi namatay yung tatay ko, talagang hindi ako sasali. <laughs> Diba? At kung hindi ako natanggal sa lapan, sa posisyon, hindi talaga ako sasali kasi na sobrang busy mo. Suddenly, wala akong ginagawa. So, yun. So, meron akong apat araw. Sa apat na araw na yun, hindi ako natulog. Kasi rin ko kung pile mo yung buong pan mo eh. Uh, even before mag-pulis ka, lahat na accomplishment mo, susulat mo. Alam mo yung pagsusulat ko noon ng accomplishment ko, doon ko nakita yung kamay ng Panginoon. Yung connect the dots, di ba? Yung uh, akala mo noon, hindi magkaka-relate ba? Pero pag tinignan mo pala, nakikita mo yung kamay ng Panginoon na kumbaga uh, unrelated na mga uh, coincidences, mga events, mga tao na namimit mo na akala mo, wala lang. Pero yung pala, lahat iisang patubuhan. Ano? So yun, yun ang tinatawag nating divine appointments. Okay? So in short, nasubmit ko naman yung papel, pero sa likod ng isip ko, sabi ko, parang imposible na manalo ako. Kasi uh, dapat ginagawa yan weeks o kaya months, di ba? Talagang gusto mong manalo, tapos ikaw, four days. <laughs> Yun. Uh, nagulat ako, uh, I made it to the semi-finals. Ito na, semi-finals na. Then again, nung nakita ko yung listahan ng uh, walo, sabi ko, nalungkot ako. Kasi, kalaban ko doon sa senior police officer, mga pool colonel, tapos dalawa doon, provincial director, provincial director ng Cebu, provincial director ng Batangas. Eh, yung tao ng mga yun, siguro, nasa dalawang libo. Ako, yung tao ko dito, nasa 300. So, yung accomplishment mo, pag i, you know, parang, 
para anong laban ko? Yun ang pakiramdam ko noon. Pero, yun, miraculously, uh, pasa daw sa finals, dalawa na lang. Ito na naman. Yung kalaban ko na naman is Medal of Valor Award. Sa aming mga sa uniform service, pag Medal of Valor Award, yan na yung pinaka-pinaka. Tapos, konsa ng Marawis is, uh, veteran na na sa buong is. So, umaga, parang kinakampihan mo pa yung kalaban mo. <laughs> na sana manalo siya kasi, di ba? Pero, marami talaga si Lord, ano? Uh, sa, sa kwan, sa final board, si Senator Nancy Binay, si Mayor Isco, tapos si San Supreme Court Justice, tapos si Civil Service Commissioner, tapos si Ombudsman, among others. Uh, kwan, grabe, ang uh, palagi kong binabalik doon, para kasi tinatanong nila eh, what do you stand for? So sa akin, ang palagi mong binabalik yung ito yung uh, motto namin sa God Bless Our Cups, saka my brother's keeper, mga Christiano at mga pastor, uh, yun. Sa amin is God-centered, family-based, and service-oriented PLP. So yun. Kami yung nagtayo ng pilot dito, natatanda niyo yung panahon na yun. Lahat ng police dito, ikro-group sila ng walo, and then may pastor na life coach. Nagsimula yung Legion 6. At Region 4A, yun yung competition namin. Pero ngayon, buong Pilipinas na po yan. Ngayon lang, uh, depende-depende lang sa pag-implement mo. So yun, uh, hopefully, uh, habang mag-open na tayo, is matuloy na yung pag-open din na ating ministry. So, against all odds, ako po yung napili. Isa sa sampo. Yeah. Yeah. Pero, hindi pa doon nagtatapos ang kwento. Uh, but wait, there's more, sabi ko nga kanina. No? Uh, sa araw ng announcement, kung uh, 2 p.m. yung announcement ng uh, ating kwan, ng ating uh, i-announce na sa buong Pilipinas uh, online, kinaumagahan nun, na-receive ko yung bad news. May suspension ako, <laughs> ombudsman. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka dapat kasama sa 10 outstanding Pilipinos kung may kaso ka. So, eto na Lord, ano ba ito? Sabi ko. Pagkatapos mo ako dito lang sa taas na taas, parang roller coaster, papaba naman ang bulos ko. Kasi ang tinapad ko doon, imagine mo yung kahilihan na disqualified ka pala. Then, in-explain ko, sir, ganito ang nangyari. Uh, Nag-apply ako ng clearance. Sabi nila, abutin uh, sila ng dalawang taon. Backlog kasi, eh, ano, uh, pandemic. Hindi ko talaga alam na nag-prosper yung kaso at uh, trabaho ito. So, hindi ko talaga alam. So, nireview nila, Sir, magkawad ka, mag-appeal ka. So, nag-appeal ako. So, kahit na hindi pa lumalabas yung appeal ko, sabi na, Sir, okay na yan. Uh, affirm namin yung kanon. And because of yung experience ko, uh, parang babaguhin nila yung requirement. Kasi napakadali na kasuhan ng police. You know? So, kasuhan mo sa ombudsman, sa IAS, sa PLEB. Basta napakarami ko. So, yun po yung uh, nangyari. Ano? So, Grabe ka, Lord, sabi ko, on the day, sa ginamit namin ang araw sa, di ba, sa, sa taon. Nakataon pa talaga ng yung announcement, doon ka pa talaga, uh, doon pa lumabas yung ating, uh, one, yung ating suspension. Pero ito pang maganda, si Chief PNP Eliasar, training state niya ako. So, di ba, sabi ko, na-freezer ako. So, binalik na ako ngayon sa Region 6. So, dahil nakabalik ako sa Region 6, Inabail ko yung schooling ko. Lahat kasi nang gusto mag-full fair na lahat general, mag uh, one year schooling. Ngayon, uh, kagandahan nun, dahil sa pandemic, online. O diba? Imbis na sa classroom ka ng isang taon, nandito ko sa Boracay. Kasama mo yung pamilya mo, o diba? Ang saya ko. Kasi naka-uniform ako pang taas, naka-short pants ako sa baba. Tapos pag inaantok ako, diba? Yung nagsusong dyan, alam niyo yung mga style dyan, diba? Yung lalagay mo yung picture mo, hindi gumagalaw, mate. Hindi gumagalaw yung picture mo, galaw-galaw. Ganun lang yun yung nangyari. Ayun. So, everything that has happened, yung mga sa isip natin, atake ng uh, kaaway, pati yung pagkamatay ng tatay ko, God is for His purpose in my life. Indeed, sabi nga, all things work together for good to those who love Him. So, I will never forget the year 2021. Uh, before God, really blesses you, He first ensures that you recognize that uh, in all the gifts that He will give you, He Himself is your great reward. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, kahit kasi lahat ng mga kakalbo dito sa mundo, after uh, one year, two years, three years, wala na yan. Uh, yung accomplishment mo na yun, wala na yan. What remains? 
si Lord, di ba? So, ipa, nagawin ni Lord yun kung anak ka niya, gagawin niya yun, na ipapakita niya na yung great reward mo lang talaga si Lord. So, hindi mawawala yung, yung uh, joy sa puso mo. So, yun. Uh, to every person dito na struggling pa rin today, uh, ano, no? pinapayuhan kita. Do not trust in man. No? Uh, because everybody will be may limitation ng tao, at lalo sa sarili mo, trust in God alone. So sabi nga sa Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways, acknowledge you, and be with your own God. Good luck po. Salamat. the wins of uh, our men. So, sa mga following weeks, kung marinig mo ang mga men of the life that will be sharing their testimonies. No? Ayun. So, si Bro Jojo, wala ngayon dahil uh, he needs to attend for his family. Oo oh, naman, di ba? Isang mga married for life yan, isang mga pag-married for life, amin maghanda ka na. No? <laughs> okay, so sa hapon na po, na po grabe, Uh, Punong-puno na yun kasi we're celebrating the fathers, tama yun na? Ayan, so hindi ko na patatagalin, no? yung speaker natin ngayon is uh, uh, isang kaibigan to ng new life. No? So nakapakinggan ko to sila, hindi ko sila mag-asawa noon sa new life name, sa new life alabanga, sa around 2012, no? Speak kayo doon around the time, no? Ayan, so Mr. Arty Roberto is um, ayon aman ng passion niya, ha? Yeah, meron siyang mahaban. <laughs> ano dito? Dami-dami na ng mga pagkito, mga achievements in life. At, uh, pero yung passion niya talaga is na uh, uh, yun na he's a motivational speaker, uh, award uh, winning uh, uh, writer, na ay dalang mga books niya habol na lang. So anyway, later on. I'm gonna have these books. I like these books. Now we have these books. So, um, grabe, grabe yung uh, buhay nila, of course, eh, uh, married to uh, uh, 1999 first runner of uh, this universe. No? So, pe, no, I mean, uh, Miss Miriam Kiyapang. Wala siya na yun kasi as to take her in dinner nila pa maya. Pero dito yung mga bata, yung mga uh, aming sons, no? at yung anak si Dios, Elijah and Mr. Gilles, so, we'll go ahead and sell us the last one. So, Sir Ardy, please come up and... Uh, yes! <laughs> so, get ready. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. So, this thing works. Okay, Darren, uh, guys, can you set this up, please? Uh, thank you. I have my slides, Chef. So, get ready, your heart and your soul. Thank you, Pastor Arnold, for inviting me again. Thank you, thank you. How many of you have fathers who are still alive? Rano? Buhay pa. Buhay pa ang tatay niyo. Raise your hand. Are you okay? Talaga? Okay. But I am a father of this family and among all the accomplishments, of course, when I introduce the accomplishment that amazes most people, is that I am the H-O-M, husband of Miriam. <laughs> when you look at the picture of me and Miriam, Papa, natutulala sila as nasabi na, ay awa ang Diyos. <laughs> But when I look at this picture, it is a picture of God's goodness Amen. as a father, God as a provider, God as a way maker, the God of the impossible. Talagang imposible po ang pamilya ko eh. Ito po, ako and Miriam, if you know our story, maybe we can share it another time with the both of us. 
it, it, it was an impossibility that the two of us could get together. And then when we did get together, uh, she became an instant mommy. Kasi si Joshua was my, is my son from my first marriage. Naging malu po ako, we were. And naging single father. And I brought up Joshua by myself. Pero hindi po natagal, like uh, God is also a matchmaker. Yeah. He's the God of God. And He matched me and we were together. Yung muna sabi ng mga doktor, uh, she only had 1 to 2% chance of giving, of becoming pregnant. 1 to 2%. Kasi meron siyang kapas, uh, pero kami almost borderline with her too. But look at this picture. That's yeah. Elijah. Yeah. Our first miracle baby, Elijah. Right. Elijah. And then, and then you know what? Si Mary was 43 years old at that time. Gave birth at 44. Uh, ako, uh, si Abraham, na hindi na hindi And then, to top it off, noong pandemic, uh, nag-i-grew kami sa mga minang minatayo. But pray lang naman kami na bago kami maging senior citizen, matandagan lang sa ka. And God is a God of miracles because tumating na lang si Sidney. Eh? Yes. So at the age of 46, nakarap pa si Miriam. Uh, at ako 100 na. <laughs> at sabi nyo, may kasunod pa ako. Tignan natin, no? Uh, babae naman daw. Pero sabi ko, Lord, gusto ko lalaki kasi at least pag lalaki, ang kumukha ko, walang kaso. <laughs> Pero kung babae, at least kumukha ko, kumawa naman yung bata. Kung paano yung magiging Miss International or Miss World or Miss Universe, diba? <laughs> but again, uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers who are here. And do you know the origin of Father's Day? Saan ba nang isang Father's Day? Sa so, Old Testament na yan, sa New Testament? Sino sa inyo ang sa inyo sasabi ng Old Testament? Ang isang Father's Day. Sino sa inyo ang sasabi ng New Testament? Sino sa inyo ay hindi magsasalita kayo ng yung tanong ko sa inyo? <laughs> pinagpang ko kayo kasi talaga sorry ang Father's Day actually started uh, because of a tragedy it started in 1907 because of the worst mining disaster in the history of America where 365 men all uh, of our men died in a mining accident and one of the children who was left behind she raised weight on uh, lost her father and ask the church, sabi niya sa mga pastor, uh, let us honor mga nawalan ng buhay, mga fathers, 365 uh, sons, um, let's honor all the fathers. And at that service, na ito ang Father's Day service, and that's when it started in 1907. And I mention this because, napapaisip ko, tayo mga ugali natin, di ba? Iwala natin mga magulan natin pagkapatayinan. Uh, or, uy, uwi ka na, nasa hospital, malapit ang mamatay sa ito. Ah, doon lang tayo, ano ba, madilig ang uwi. Huwag na natin po hintayin na uh, umabot sa ganun ang mga tatay natin ay uh, maghihinalo sa kanan sa mga iwan na bibisitahin na sa salina that I love you. Patawarin mo sa lahat ng kapalaskigan na ituwa ko ng bata. Huwag na natin yung tayo So hopefully, that will not be the case. Please, para sa mga kapataan dyan, sila nang hindi nag-attend this morning. Para sa ito, what is the Bible's first commandment with a promise? Name the verse. And uh, please recite. And if you come, I will give you milky money. Uh, cash na may 100, 120, Ano bang meron dito sa iyo? Hindi na, bali. 120, just sa time. 150, gusto mo? Sige, 150. Meron mo dyan mga kasabi? What is the, what verse? What is the Bible's first commandment with a promise? Meron ba? 150 pesos, ang milk-milin yan. Going, 
going. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it pays to memorize scripture. Yeah. 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 Oh, Ephesians. Can you tell us about it? Ephesians chapter 6, verses 2 to 3. What are you going to do? Yeah, get someone who is there. Some, get someone read it aloud. I think they will not get it. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 2 to 3. Can I memorize it? 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 Yeah, may G-Cash ka ba? <laughs> so in Ephesians 6 verse 2, Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you and you will have a long life on the earth. So ano mangyayari siyo? Long life. Yeah. And go well for you. Para natin si Natalo. Carla. Wala pa na si Carla. So please claim your uh, milky money. Text mo sa akin yung Gcash mo. Tapag yeah. ako sa'yo. Yeah. Share, share. <laughs> share team. Pwede yung buy one day. Right? Yeah, di ba? Did you hear that? Honor your mother and father. And this is the uh, first commandment with a promise. That it may go well with you and that you may but live long. So, kung kung siya siya gusto dito ang mabuhay na matagal. Yeah. Oh, the honor nyo ang magulang ninyo. At yeah. hahapa daw ang buhay nyo. Sabi ko nga kanina kay Pastor, I share with him. Yung lola ni Miriam, alam mo na kung kaya siya namatay, last year lang, 102. Wow. One, home, one month before my birthday siya ng 102. No? 100 birthday niya, kumuha pa siya ng DI, nagbubugi-bugi pa, sinasayaw pa, nagpupunta pa na ng palengke. So sabi ko kanya, baka talaga na alaman niya yung sikreto ng hapang buhay, lagi yan in honor ang kanyang mabulang. So, if you want to live long, it's a Bible, it's a promise in the Bible, honor your mother and father. So, and that's what I want to do. This is an opportunity to honor my fathers, my, this is my father-in-law, ang aking uh, uh, father in God, na si Men Kiambao, na napaka masayahin, uh, jolly, he's very easy to get along with, and I tell Miriam, siguro dyan mo nakuha yung pagka, ano mo, uh, ang masarap mong kasama. No? Sa bahay, masarap kasama si Miriam, wala akong, wala akong in-law problem. So, kasi nyo may in-law in problem. Huwag kayo mag-raise na nga, baka makita kayo na sa <laughs> And then, ito naman ang tatay ko, so may pinagmanahan din yung aking pagka kunyari intellectual, mahilig mahili magpasa, mahilig magsulat ng libro. He was the one that I saw right many books. He's an international author, professor sa Marketing Solution Institute of Management. Sa, sa kanya ko nakita yung uh, the fruit of hard work and the discipline of hard work. He also modeled many things uh, like family communication, Nag-meeting kami pag Sunday, update kami. And then, uh, when I started to work, he became very close. We became very close to the point na pagtatawa ko siya sa telepon ko. Masasin mo, hi dad. Tapos uh, nasabi siya sa akin, hi sweetheart. Ano yung pinsan nagugulat ako? Ang daddy ko nasa sweetheart sa akin, di ba? Sino ba mga magulang dito? Tawagin niyo nga yung anak ko yung sweetheart. Tinan natin yung nila ng butang puso na ako. Hindi. Get away from me. <laughs> so let's honor. This is my dad now. He is a good man. And I want to honor him because, not just because of the promises, but because he's been a blessing in my life. Well, I'm not perfect. Na naman. Uh, one day he came to me asking for forgiveness. And I, and I told him, Dad, you don't have to ask for forgiveness from me because I already forgave you because Jesus has forgiven me of my sins. And I started to share with him the gospel, and we ended up praying together. And it was such a privilege to lead my dad to the Lord. Amen. 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 So, 
kung ang tawag sa akin ng dad ko isang sweetheart o ang tawag uh, ng mga anak natin. Ano ba tawag ng mga anak nyo? Sino ito mga magulang? O, ano ang tawag sa inyo ng mga anak nyo? Mama? O, ano taas? Papa? Ano ba tawag ng galing sa iyo? Papa? Ano ngayon? O, pops. 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 Sigal. Okay, yun. Pero, Ah, uh, yeah, marami mga iba ibang terms of endearment, itay, tay, ah, uh, tawag, tawag sa dad, dad. Pero ay pala, may duri, iba iba pala tawag sa mga tatay all over the world. Ah, uh, depende kung nasaan ka, di ba? Sa Korea, ata ang tawag nila, sa Greek, pampas. Sa Italian, sa Italian, pap, babo. Hindi na maging bobo, naman. <laughs> sa Japanese, otosan. Yeah. Yan ang laging kinumutosan sa bahay. <laughs> diba? Sa Romania, tata. Ang tawag niya sa tatay nila. Sa Venetia, yan ang gusto ko. Ang tawag niya sa tatay nila, pare. <laughs> sa Africa, Vader. Diba? Sa iba naman ng Star Wars dito. Diyan siguro galing yung Vader and his father. Diba? Dark, dark father. So, dark Vader. I am your father. Sabi niya kay Luke. Diba? Ay, itong favorite ko, sa Aboji Arabic, Yeba. Yun, di ba? So, subukan nyo, tawagin yung mga magulo nyo, patuwi nyo. Yeba! <laughs> My first son, Joshua, he calls me very simply Dada. Yan. And, uh, tumunan na rin sila si, si Ziki. Kaya kung mga nyo nyo nyo, si Dada, 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 and Elijah also. But do you know that also Jesus also had a term of endearment for his heavenly father? Anong tawag? How did Jesus call God the Father? Ano sa tingin? Stay and listen, and I will share with you at the end of the lesson. Kaya kailangan listen kayo, okay? So, matanong ko kayo. This is the title of our message. Very simply, Who is your daddy? Sino ba tatay mo? Hindi yung tatay mo dito sa mundo, pero who is your spiritual dad? And we have two main texts, John chapter 1 verse 12 and Matthew chapter uh, Matthew chapter 9 or sorry, chapter 6 verses 9 to 13 yeah. and let this also be our opening prayer yeah. so let us all stand up kung namin siya naman dasan ng our father, let us pray our father, hey Elijah let that just be, okay? So, Elijah, we're going to pray. All together now, let's pray. Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. And Father God, we just thank you for this time that we have together. May our hearts be tenderized to receive your word so that we can answer with finality and conviction who our Daddy, our Heavenly Father, really is. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. May now sit down. That's a wonderful prayer. No? Nakakalimut ako nga. Pinamemorize ng malay ko sa akin na when I was maybe <clears throat> four or five years old. And at first, you know, we would take it for granted. I kailangan nang i-memorize eh, para sa confirmation. But it helps us answer this question, who is your daddy? You know? Sino ba? At the beginning of that prayer, um, tinanong kasi ng mga disciples ni Jesus tinanong siya sabi ni Jesus Rabbi paano ba magdasal? teach us turuan niyo, ako, mag turuan niyo kami magdasal tapos so sabi ni Jesus sige ano sabi ni Jesus? this is how you should pray and he said our father Hmm. Nagulay sila. And even the Jews who are listening because they huh? ano yung, in the Jewish tradition, very impersonal si God sa kanila. Hindi mo nga ma-spelling sa kanila ay yung God. 
kailangan G underscore D. Dahil God for them was you know, someone to be feared, someone to be revered. He was not a personal God the way Jesus knew. So he was inviting the disciples. Alam nyo, tawagin nyo, you start your prayer to God and say, Our Father. I know this is the first word, our. Inclusive. Sinabi ni Jesus. Sinabi ni Jesus, sinabi ni Jesus oh, this is how you should pray. Sabi mo, Father of Jesus, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is heaven. And yes, sinabi, di ba? God of the universe, how will be your name? He invited the disciples to say, Our Father. Our Father. Ganyan, di ba? If you think about it, parang ganti yun eh. Kanyari, uh, si Cordell uh, Jonathan, nagawin ko siya, General Jonathan. Ayan. I am promoting you to the as general, starting today, in the army of God, yeah, general si, si Cardinal uh, John. But, <laughs> general Jonathan, what if today uh, we ask permission, okay, okay ba, general Jonathan, na lahat ng mga tao, so we'll call you now, father. <laughs> okay lang kayo. <laughs> Medyo, you will feel uncomfortable. Kaya hindi mo ang kilala lahat ng mga ito, di ba? Right? Oh. <laughs> Kasi, once you give permission to someone, ito, ito, I mean, tawagin siyang papa, dad, dad. My daddy is your daddy. Oh, ano yung ibig sabihin? That means you can approach your dad the same way he approaches him and ask for allowance. <laughs> Ask to be blessed, you know? ask for help, ask for mercy, ask for forgiveness, ask for healing, ask for whatever it is, you know? Kasi ng Panginoon, eh. Napaka- so Jesus, you know, ang galing sa akin na, ano nyo? Love na love na kayo. Mga disciples ko, those who are praying me. Yung tatay ko, tatay yun na rin yan. Ako, ano? The Father, Jesus, is inviting you to call His Heavenly Father, Dada. Nakakata yun ang malahin ko yun. Ha? Ganyan na kayo close, sabi ni Jesus. So sabi niya, you know what? He was telling His disciples, when you pray, you say, Our Father. But he was saying that to who? Not just anyone. At ang tanong sa kanya, yung mga followers niya. Hindi followers sa Facebook, hindi followers sa Instagram. Para mga disciples. Those who had left everything just to follow Jesus. That is, those are the people he gave the privilege and the right to call his father our father. So meron din, hindi, hindi ito para sa lahat ha, if you think about it, alright? Hmm. So in other words, do you and I have the right right now to call God Father? Sa tingin niyo ba, meron na kayong right, meron na kayong, uh, I don't know how you call it, na parang karapatan tatawagin, meron kayong K yun, para tawagin si Lord Almighty God as your Father. Meron ba? Yes. Amen? Paano yung nasabi yun? That you have the same privilege and right. Pwede na natin, pwede na natin assume yun? True or false? Narinig na to? Lahat tayo ay anak ng Diyos. Narinig na yun? Yung kasabihan na yun? Oh, true or false? We are all children of God. Yung buong mundo, lahat ng mga nilalaan. True or false? Ha? Huh? True? True or false? True? True or false? Trolls. Sigurista, no? Oh. 
We are all given that, and if you want to know the truth, let us go to the Word of God, right? Because the Word of God is true. Sabi dito, sa John chapter 1, verses 12 to 13, if you want to check your own Bible, you can go there. Sabi dito, Yet to all who did receive Him, meaning Jesus, to those who believe in His name, of Jesus, He gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent or human decision or your husband's will, but born of God. Kanina, pinakita ito ni Pastor. Diba? So, dalawa, you if you want to have the right to be called a child of God, one, receive. Receive Him. Sino si Him? The Lord Jesus Christ. Number one, receive. Have you received the Lord Jesus Christ? Check or hindi pa. Number two, and then, to those who believe in His name. Have you believed in His name? So, sabi dito, if you have received and believed, He gave the right. Meron kayong karapatan. Meron kayong K. O paano, yung mga hindi pa. So, hindi pa sila anak ng Diyos. Hmm. Because it is a right. Hindi po automatic yan. We are all God's creation, but we are not all God's children. Hindi po. Meron pa pala. Diba? Inaasun natin yan. Because you have to be born of God. You have to be born again. Read John chapter 3. Sabi ni Jesus to Nicodemus, Nicodemus was asking, how can I see the kingdom of God? He said, you cannot see the kingdom of God until, unless you are born again. Right. And we're not talking about religion, but a condition, a spiritual condition. Sabi ni Jesus, diba? sabi ni Nicodemus, ha, pa pa yun? How can I, pwede ba akong bumalik sa, sa womb ng nanay ko? Hindi, hindi yun ang ibang sabihin sa kay Jesus. Okay. Man is born of water, so when the water breaks from your mother, diba? then you are born physically, and man is born of the Spirit. So God, Jesus was talking about a spiritual rebirth. Being born again is a spiritual rebirth because man is made of spirit. It is indestructible. Mamamatay kung katawan natin, but our spirit will live forever. And if you want to live forever, your spirit needs to be reborn. Needs to be born again. Yeah. So ayun po ang katotohanan na misan mahirap ang labin. Yeah? Pero yun po ang totoo. The Bible says, in effect, not everyone is a child of God yet. Hindi pa. Although gusto ng Panginoon na lahat po tayo maging child of God. Pero meron po problema. What's that? Sin. Free will. The free will to sin. And you have the free will na hindi mo i-accept yung offer na maging anak ng Diyos. Now in the old in the, uh, when Jesus was saying and teaching, sinusundan siya ng mga Pharisees, ng mga Pudyo, learned people, mga disente pa ako, pinagsabihan niya yung mga Pariseo. Sabi ni Jesus sa kanila, <laughs> You belong to your father, the devil. Pinagsabihan niya, hindi mo tinawag niya mga anak ng Diablo, ng mga Pudyo, mga religious. They were people who studied scripture. They were people who were religious, going to church, tithing. Every outward appearance of goodness, but their hearts were deceitful. And Jesus told me, told them, "You belong to your father, the devil." It was John chapter eight, verse thirty-four. Said him, "You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires." Wow. He was a murderer from the beginning, from Genesis, not holding to the truth, and the love of to the Adam and Eve, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, wow, he speaks his native language. <laughs> for he is a liar and the father of lies. The father of lies. Isa na sinasabi ko sa mga anapaw na niyo, anak ko niyo, pag nagsisinungalin tayo, when you are lying, Ano sinasabi mo na kay kami? Daddy, kabais tayo. Diba? When you lie, 
you are actually siding with the father of lies. When you tell the truth, you are siding with the father of truth. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. And on purpose, diba? Purpose lang in, the purpose of the enemy, the purpose of the devil is to steal, kill, and destroy. You may tatay na gusto nyo. Doon yung, kanyo lang kayo magpapa-adapt. Kaya lang kayo kayong choice. Okay? Nandito sa pintong to, ay si Diablo. Nandito sa pintong to, si Jesus. Father God, Holy Spirit. Diba? Kanyo ng pinto kayo pupunta. Doon sa mahilig magnakaw at uh, murder, mamatay at manira. O dito, na ang buhay, you can live life and life to the fullest. No-brainer, di ba? Anong tayo sa una? Pero why do a lot of people nagdududa pa rin? Hindi, dito tayo po. Dito tayo kay Tanin. Why? Because they have been deceived. Many, including myself, have been deceived many times. Uh, many. And so the, the question again is, are you a child of God? Are you a child of the devil? Sometimes, or hindi po kita nandito po tayo sa simbahan, that we are attending church, a part of the church, na anak tayo ng Diyos. Pahari, gusto na nyo mag-attend. Sige. So church door pa lang tayo. Pero if you have not received, and believe in Him, and surrender your life to Him, hindi pa kayo ang anak ng Diyos. O maaari, nandito kayo dahil anak kayo ng mananampalataya. You are a child of Christian parents, pero hindi pa kayo nagsasurrender sa Panginoon. So, child, anak lang kayo na isang Kristiyano, maguna, hindi pa kayo ang anak ng Diyos. So, ano yung isipin nyo? Anak pa kayo ng Diyano. <laughs> Nung nagka-college ako, dito ako sa dorm na katira, sa Sergini, sa Ateneo. First time ko maging uh, maniraan ng by myself, tapos uh, meron akong tatlong roommates, isang roommate ko, nag uh, first day pa na, humingitin ko ng mariwana. So, pati ako nalahay kasi, nakakamoy ko. Tapos, uh, kuya tan, take na matulog, take na rin sa klase. Uh, <laughs> kaya natatago na ako pabiyahin yung anak na naman ito bilang mag-isa sa ito. Isang malamigo, walang breakfast para lang maging on time. So, you know, all the quote-unquote fun things, yung mga alam namin masaya, di ba? Kasi nakawala kami sa sa mga magulang na rin. And I was really living that kind of life that I thought was fun, but it was really evil. Dahil hindi sa talawagan ng ng magulang ko. If they knew what I was doing, of course, they would be upset. And then God will send people to me para mag-ising ako at para doon ako sa kabila ng punta. You see, kasi meron spiritual battle na nangyari para sa atin. The enemy, the devil, wants to adopt you in Christ's family. God the Father wants to adopt you in Christ's family. Right. Nagalaban yung dalawa. Diba? Parang, hindi ka, ito bibigay ko sa'yo. Ito ba eh? Ala, masaya. He's got, hindi ka, come here. And I will give you joy everlasting. Amen. Amen. Pero, si Tanin, huwag pag natin ang tao sa'yo. Sabi lang yun. Pero, ako, pote yan, pote yan. Naglalaban yung dalawa. Eh, kung hindi nangyari sa akin, naglalabanan. One night, ah, Mga 6 o'clock in the evening, my friend Jordan knocked on the door of my room. Siguro mga 5 weeks na siya papalik-balik sa akin. And he would tell, ask me, hindi ka, hindi, sana ka sa akin. No, no, meron Bible study, may prayer meeting dyan sa baba, sa Ayaso, dyan sa mga ano. Every week sila, Wednesday night, when we meet, 7 to 8, sama ka naman. So every week for 5 or 6 times, I would always uh, cancel him. <laughs> Lagi akong may rason. Until finally, sinabi niya sa akin, doon na binastik ko siya ulit para pumunta doon. Sabi ko, 
Sabi niya sa akin, alam mo, Ardy, you cannot run away from Jesus all your life. Nagulat ako sa sarili ko, sinabi ko, that may be true, but I will run as long as I can away from Jesus because I'm having too much fun. <laughs> so you see how I was brainwashed by the enemy by the devil. Na ang pinawa, ang pinawa lang ang ang pinawa pinaw. <laughs> American lang pinaw kasi yung pinawa pinaw. Pinaw <laughs> ang pinawa lang pinaw lang. But I believe. <laughs> Kisah di mana saya, what I believe uh, this morning as I go, but what I believe was that I would not have fun, that I would not be happy if I was following Jesus. But later in life, you know, what I discovered that once you surrender your life to Christ, your life is surrounded by miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. I say that again. When you surrender your life to Christ, your life is surrounded by miracles. Ooh. Yeah. Ano yung life of miracles? Napaka-exciting! Yeah. Napaka-enjoy! Ito yung kwento ni Pernel, di ba? One time he's up, and one time he's down, and up ulit, parang roller coaster, masaya, di ba? Di ba? God will not, God will, you know, He will allow you to go through trials, but He will be with you for the ride. Just like the disciples when they went uh, out in the storm in in, uh, in the lake, di ba? Bumagyo, ang lakas ng bulan, di ba? Sila, sila, ah, di ba? Ako, no, no, mamatay na tayo, di ba? Malulunod tayo dito. Pero si Jesus na lang, tutulog na lang. Mga ito, walang tiwala sa akin. Di ba, enjoy yun, di ba? When... Years from now, I'm sure the disciples would tell them, oh, meron sa places, but nangisda kami, tapos, grabe yung, ano, mutik na kami mamatay, pero si Jesus, oh, pula-pula, tapos, sinabi na niya sa, sa wind, sinabi niya, be still. Di ba, exciting yung ganun buhay? Yes. Tapos, patutuwa ka sa mga kaputian ng Panginoon? Yes. Di ba, malas eh. So, ito na yung buhay ko, di ba, I show you that picture, eh? is my life. Grabe ang mga miraculo. Pati na yung pagpunta dito. Anxiety and venture. So I assure you, you know what, huwag kayong maniwala sa Diablo na sinasabi, boring ang buhay ng Christian. Right. Serve the Lord with all your heart. Follow Him. Walk with Him. He has a rewarder and He will make your life an adventure. Amen. Ano dito yung ano yung sa akin? Subukan nyo! Ibang kasi. Subukan nyo. And you know what? Unfortunately ako, hindi po ako naniwala. Kaya it took me many years. Seven, I think seven and eight years after I graduated. Before I had an encounter with God again. Kasi alam nyo, the goal of Satan is to make us doubt God's goodness. And to doubt His promises. Diba? Um, sasabihin niyang Diablo sa iyo, sasabihin ni Satanas. Oh, sinabi ba talaga ng pamilya ng Georgian? Di naman yun, di ba? Remember? Yung ahas, di ba? The serpent which represented the devil. Sina ano sinabi niya kay Eva? Sinabi niya, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Pinadudahan niya. Pinagdaw niya si Eva. Actually, di man niya na sinabi eh. To this niya. If you read what God really said, do not eat from the tree of life. You don't eat from any other tree. But what that is it? Yung And there are many other lies that the devil, that the, through media, social media, you know, say to us, may aring yung, ito, believe in yourself. How many of us tell that to our children? Ala, believe in yourself. Ay, may aring. Huwag ka mag-isip ang negative. Stay positive. Ano yung believe ka? Kasabi niya, naniwala kayo dyan. Okay? Kasi si Harry Potter, sinabi niya, the most important thing that matters is believing in yourself. Oh, tapos yung mga meme na ito, yung mga nakikita ko yung isang internet, ito, oh, pati yung mga binabasa ng kapataan. The best place to find a helping hand is the end of your own arm. Trust yourself. Tapos ipopost nila, repost, repost, share, share, share. Oh, di ba? Ito pa, trust yourself no matter what anyone else thinks. Si Arnold Schwarzenegger sa amin, share, 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 share. Oh. 
di ba? Pero, ano ang totoo? Is the truth being shared? What is the truth? The truth, the gospel truth, the Bible truth says, he who trusts in himself is a fool. Man, man. But he who walks in wisdom, in God's wisdom, is kept sin. Hallelujah! Amen! Di ba? <laughs> Before we share something, pakicheck mo na natin na kung totoo yun. Right? No, di ba? Ito yung mga popular. Do we yung copy soul? Follow your heart. Sabi ni Robin Williams, na tayo si Robin Williams, sabi niya, you're, there are no rules, just follow your heart. How many of you have believed that before? How many of you have had a friend or parent who said, Ana, just follow your heart. Diba? Pare, pa, pare. Follow your heart. Ito lang yan. Pag if it feels good to you, just follow your heart. Biblical ba yun? Follow your hearts. Sabi ni Robin Williams. Kaya, he followed his heart. Sabi ng heart niya. Makamatay ka na lang. He killed himself. Follow your heart. Sige. Kahit yung heart mo, yung sundumalon. Magpakamatay. The truth is, what the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9, this is the heart truth. The heart is deceitful. What is deceitful? Makakaloko. That's why we cannot rely on our feelings. We don't follow our heart. We follow the Holy Spirit. We are led by the Spirit, not led by our heart. Follow. Be led by the Spirit. Kahit yung puso mo, hindi. Gusto ko siyang kalikan. Bakal ko siya eh. Pero, it feels good eh, kahit mali, eh, tihiwalay naman daw yung asawa niya eh. Ako talaga ba yung mahal niya? I-follow ko yung heart ko, pero hindi eh. Dinideceive ka, niluloko ka ng puso mo. And there is a battle that is happening for our souls and our spirits. So I guess Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. So, there is a battle book happening. You know, Jesus talked about hell more times than he talked about heaven. He talked about hell two times more than he talked about heaven because, alam niya, sinabi nga niya, the road to destruction is wide, right? But the road to heaven is very narrow. Enter through the narrow gate. Alam niya eh, nakikita niya, mahal tayo eh, nakikita yung mga anak niya going to hell, going to the road of destruction. That's why he talked about hell two times more than heaven. In fact, 70 times he talked about hell. Yeah. So, I'll go back to my journey. I was a chronic liar. Liar ko ng lie, sinungaling ako. Niloloko ko yung girlfriend ko, niloloko ko yung magulang ko. Manuloko ako. Kahit kung ako mabahit. <laughs> ako yan. Beauty Jack, I, uh, I was a writer for a magazine. My idol was Bill Hefner, the publisher of Playboy Magazine. I did not want to follow Jesus, I wanted to follow Bill Hefner. Kasi yung buhay niya, yan ang gusto ko maging buhay. Playboy publisher, may malaking mansion, lahat ng Playboy Center ko, jowa niya. Diba? Kahit kanina siya makipag-sex, pwede. And yan ang naging idol ko, you know? yan ang pinili ko to follow. But buti na lang, God in His mercy really sought me out and made a way for me to see my folly. Uh, when I was 26 or 27, Naglakas daw ko ang start ng negosyo and one of the businesses that we started was concert promotion. The first concert we did with my partners was eh, sabi ko ayaw kang pipitsugin. Gusto ko big time na dapat tayo. So kaya hindi ka agad ang concert namin. Hindi lang one night, two nights. Make a long story short, it was the most successful failure in the history of Gary B. <laughs> Luke eh. Nawala lahat ng pera ko. The money that I saved for the wedding ng aking, at that time, my, my girlfriend from Camille de Oro, na wala lahat. But uh, when Gary B. sang that song, Take Me Out of the Dark, you know, parang, parang may tumusok sa akin na, na yung words eh, yung words sa kanta, 
Sabi doon, teach me to trust in you with all of my heart, to lean not on my own understanding. I won't forget. I won't give you what you can't give. Take me out of the dark, dear Lord. I don't want to be born. When I heard those words, I knew the Holy Spirit in my heart. And I started crying and weeping. And um, when I, you know, I knew that Gary and his wife and Jerry were Christians. At doon ko nakita yung love in action. Dahil napakabait din na sa akin. Hindi ang kalit na kung sino nilang putang ko, they gave me time. And uh, a week after, two weeks later, I went back home to Manila. Pero pag-uwi ko sa bahay, ang dami ko mga sobre, mga invoice, mga pabayaran ng mga bills. Uh, you know, uh, as a 26 or 27 year old young entrepreneur, siguro, ang mga tatay, almost more than mga kakabilyan. At that time, wala akong pambayad na. So I reply, naalala ko, kumiga ako sa kama. And mind you, at that time, diba? Ang idol ko, Hugh Hefner, ang kinapalo ko. I was the anak ng job ko. Pero I cried out to God and said, Lord, God, if you are real, tulong ko man naman ako. Hindi ko kaya ito. And, ngayon, Bilang parang may humipa, may parang may, may, may haagos ng hangin na kulang nawala yung bigat ng dibdib ko at napatayong sa aking uh, tama at sabi ko, Lord, ito ba yun? Did you ask my prayer right away? And then parang ang few bigat ko, may kumatok sa pinto, sumilid niyo yung girlfriend ko, sinabi niya, iwanan mo na kita, alam ko, aking pasit siya, pero sabi ko, saan ko, saan ko pupunta? Sabi niya, punta lang ako may study, tapos lakad na siya. Hindi manalo ako, hindi na. Ako sabi ko, sandali, sandali, sandali. Sasama ako sa'yo. And in that Bible study is where I was exposed to the Bible for the very first time since college na hindi siya Theology 101. That's when I encountered the Word of God as a true living Word that spoke life to me and my spirit. Na lahat ng talaw ko nasa loob, yung tanong ko doon, pabi ako ni Buddha kong napakasan ko pag buwas ko ng Bible sa Romans chapter 13 and sabi doon, let no death remain, remain on standing except the death to love one another. Pabi ko, grabe, nakuusap sa akin ng Panginoon doon sa Biblia. Kaya doon ko, ah, ihahabla ko ba yung mga partners ko kasi marami kami partners, hindi ginawa yung mga trabaho, kaya kami nalugi, I was playing with them. Pag buwas ko ng Bible sa John, forgive. Seven times seven, love your enemies. And so by the time Romans 6.23 was presented, I had believed. It's very simple. This is the good news. The bad news is, for the wages of sin is death. That's the bad news. But, ito na yung good news. Ito na yung The gift of God, regalo ng Panginoon, ay ano, buhay na wala hanggan, eternal life. Paano? Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Bad news, good news. Bad news, ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. Good news, the gift of God is eternal life. Paano mo kukuha yun? How do you receive a gift? How do you receive a gift? May regalo. May gusto kong bigyan sa'yo na regalo. Paano mo? Ito. Regalo ko sa'yo ito. Ah, uh, ate. Bigyan ko sa'yo. Ay mo? Ate. Oh, na lang natin. Hindi ko siya ito. Paano mo kukuha? Ayan. Ngayon lang yun mo? You will receive it. You have to receive it. You have to receive it. Have you received the gift? Have you received the gift? Ayan. So that night, I received the gift of eternal life. I received. Remember John 12, 1, John? To those who have received and believed. He gives the right to be called children of God. And so I became a child of God that night on Bible study. Born of God. Ayo, nagawa niya ngayon? Have you done that? Have your children done that? Huwag niyo asun na mga anak niyo dahil lang masama sa inyo. Ayan, let's say it ngayon. So who's your daddy? And do you know now how to truly be a child of God? 
Minsan, ano eh. Diba, may Sunday school tayo doon. We teach them the ABCs of salvation. And we need to repeat it. We need to review it. Okay. It's as easy as, simple as, it's not easy because God, Jesus paid the price of penalty through His blood. But it's simple. He made it simple. A, B, C. A is you admit that you are a sinner. With no way of escape, hindi natin kaya. We cannot save ourselves. And we are in need of a Savior. A, admit. B, believe that the Lord Jesus Christ was the one who paid for your sins. Believe. And that He rose from the dead. Without the resurrection, there is no good news. He rose from the dead after three days and seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you, you believe that? That one day you too can rise from the dead because of what Jesus did. So believe and receive and then see, commit and surrender your life and follow. Be a disciple. That's why Jesus was able to tell his disciples now you can call. This is how you pray. Just say, begin with our Father. Yeah. And if you do this, if you are a child of God, then you can call your heaven, God Almighty, as God the Father. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, right? Now, before we end, I just want to Dapat ba talaga tayo, no? Um, heart check. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8 to 10. Can we read this together? 1, 2, 3. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil. Because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Verse 9. No one who is born of God will continue to sin. Because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Ayan po. Diyan po natin malalaman. Ito po yung test. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child. Nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. So if you have truly, genuinely, receive and believe and surrender your life to Christ, you will stop sinning. You will not become sinless, but you will sin less and less. Because now is a process of sanctification. And following God and walking with God. And napakasarap pong mag to walk with God. When my children, when Joshua said, Halika, magdara tayo. Alam niya, meron reward. May kasamang ice cream. Pagka naglakad siya, kasama ng daddy niya. Walk with your Heavenly Father and He will also reward you. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. Walk with God. Follow. Do His will. Because you know what? The devil, meron pala Bible ang mga uh, uh, Satanists ang nakalagay dun sa Bible nila. Ang commandment doon is this. Do your will. Do, do your will. Kahit anong gusto mong gawin, yun ang gawin mo which is opposite. Na? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done. Right. Not my will. Not my will. So, mamalik po tayo doon sa umpisa. Ano ang tawag ni Jesus sa kanyang tatay? To God the Father. What did he call him? He called him Abba. Abba. Hindi itong Abba na yung dancing queen. Pero Abba, which is Aramaic in the Spanish word, daddy, ta, dada, tatay. Intimate child-like term for one's father. So he was the first rabbi, actually, who said, call my father Abba. Would you like to call God the father Abba? Also? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you want to do that, you know, and be intimate with God, the Father, who is an amazing Father, He's a way maker, He's a healer, He's a miracle worker, He's a God of second chances, He's a Father who wants to give you, you know, every good and perfect gift. 
that's the kind of father that you want, diba? Hmm. It's amazing. It's amazing. Romans 8, 13, 16 says, For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship. And by Him we cry, Abba. The Spirit Himself testifies with the Spirit that we are God's children. Hallelujah. So, whose child are you? And do you want to truly be a child of God? Our Abba Father. So can we all stand up? And let's close in prayer. And I want to pray for those maybe you're here Di ko lang kung bakit. Hindi ko wala naman aksidente. Di ko kasta mo na aksidente ko na lang dito na bigla kayo ng parpad dito. Pag pinili niyo mag-church dito, hindi sa manood ng sunset. And maybe you are just uh, a churchgoer. Maybe you're just anak kayo ng Christian parents pero hindi pa kayo nagsusurrender ni Lord. You have not really received Him. I want to give you that opportunity to do just that. So I would want to pray for you. If that is you, you have not yet received Christ and you have not surrendered your life yet, we can do that right now. So with all eyes closed, can you just close your eyes? With all eyes closed, if that's you, you're here. If you want to receive Christ and you want to receive that gift of eternal life, can you raise your hand? I will pray for you. If you want to receive the gift of eternal life, raise your hand. If you want to be a child of God, starting today, raise your hand. So all those of you who are raising your hands right now, hallelujah, let me pray for you. Just pray with me and say this. Just say, Abba Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm able to save myself. Hindi ko kaya ang sambahin ang sarili Pero nagpapasalamat ako, Panginoon, na minahal mo ko. That to your Son, Jesus Christ, you paid the penalty of my sins. And now, because of you, I can become your child and call you Ama. Jesus, I believe in your name. I surrender my life and receive you in my heart. In Jesus' name. So if you pray that, all of you are raise your hand, you know what? You have the right to call God your Father. And you are now a child of God. Hallelujah! Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Yes, Dada. <laughs> yes, my child. Oh. So like Elijah, he has the right to call me Dada because he is my child. And you are now children of God. Praise the Lord. So with that, happy Father's Day. God bless you all. God loves you. Happy Father's Day. Sorry, Dave. And your name there upon this. Gusto natin, of course, to bless you sa balik, right? Ano? With the prayer that I may have this time right now. Extend a hand to so already. You know, uh, a story, 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 a and will continue the work to propagate the gospel as he allows his life to be a vessel of the goodness of the kingdom of God. We declare an exponential return of our towers and seed in new life even today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, believe, oh, no, I, uh,